I know nothing about coconuts. <laughs> Scared the bejesus out of me. We've just run into these poor buggers. Well, we made it to your poon, guys. Well, last night, guys, that wind picked up like absolute crazy. We rolled in the awning. Um, it was just absolutely howling. But um, it's kind of good because it's given us a bit of a relief from the, uh, the heat. And we've done a heap of washing. Got that on the line. That's like our fourth load. So we've got to be careful with the water because we are limited, but so good to be able to do that when we are off grid at places like this. The kids have picked up a few coconuts. Just a look at them. Now you reckon they're full? Yeah. They sound full? I know nothing about coconuts, but we're going to hack these open and just see if there's, oh Jesus, there's a stick in the water and I thought it was a crocodile. <laughs> anyway, we're going to uh, crack open these coconuts, see if there's any um, coconut water in them. I'll show you this stick as we're walking up. As we're walking up to the water, I just saw this. Scared the bejesus out of me. Got to be careful, we're still in croc country. Hey, what? Wait here. A drill. A drill? Yep, that's the easiest way to get in there. Yeah, it smells all right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Don't like it? Yeah. So much harder getting into a coconut than I thought. That was a lot of work. But you want to try the flesh? Yeah. Have a little chew of that. Hard. Yep. A bit too hard? It's good. It doesn't even taste like anything. Tastes like coconut. I'm gonna blend it up with milk and turn it into like you ice didn't cream. Even, it didn't even go in your mouth properly, mate. It <laughs> did. <laughs> We are still in croc country, so fortunately we can't swim at this beautiful beach. So we've done a little damming, haven't we? Except what have you found in there? Worms. Beach worms. So he's a bit freaked out. <laughs> so he's got his hook and just stabbing around every now and then to stop the worms getting him. And the weather has been absolutely wild here. Two minutes ago, we we're out there, just sunshine, it's good, the wind had died down. Now have a look at it. <laughs> well, as quick as that storm rolled in, it's out and gone. It's actually left it pretty nice and calm now. It's quite peaceful out here, hey? It is nice. Nana, Ooh. what are you doing? My Nana. Shut <laughs> up. Shut up. <laughs> uh, she doesn't like it when I put her on video doing that. Mind you, she edits it, so if you see this, she's okay. <laughs> All right, we're having burgers for dinner tonight, guys. If you can see that, hear that, it's way too windy to have the barbecue going. 
tried to light it before and it's just blowing the flame out all the time. Um, now, induction, obviously the best for when you have wind, but if you saw my Gari episodes, you know that our induction cooker packed the towel in. So that went in the bin, but we got um, contacted by a lady who works for Baccarat and she said, hey, can you, do you want one of ours? Uh, it's a new model and just test it out and let us know. So here we are, got the Baccarat induction cooker i have zero expect i have zero expectations i know nothing about this brand um but we're just going to give it a go see how it is Well, it cooked the food, didn't cut out. It's got a keep warm mode. Better than the last one so far. Are you happy to be outside? On the grass? Are you? Yeah. yeah. You're a silly dog. Are you a goose? Are you? So it's about four o'clock on the Arvo and this is the first chance we've had to really get out of the van properly today because it has just been uh, howling wind and just pouring rain all day. It's been crazy. It has been hectic. Glad we got that first day, but I think that was it. Yeah, I just hope it hasn't washed out the track too much yeah, true. to get back. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> Looks like we got some more weather coming too, just behind us here. Look at that. Well, if it holds off when low tide comes through, I've got a little spot I want to go fishing, so I'm going to go flick some lures there. Good morning and another beautiful one at Notch Point. Have a look at what we've woken up to. So we haven't had very much luck with the weather here at Notch Point. We had that first day, which was awesome, but um, it's definitely somewhere we're gonna come back to. Don't you reckon, Eric? Yeah. When the weather's good. So we saw how good it can be and the potential. Um, just unfortunate, it's the way it goes. But like we've said, it's raining everywhere up and down the coast at the moment. But um, we're gonna hitch up. We're gonna punch it, how many Ks? 300 Ks? I don't know, no. it's, take about three, it's supposed to take about three and a half hours. Down to Yapoon. So we've obviously got to get out of here. I mean, this rain's not fantastic because of all the water holes. But once we get out, we're just gonna punch it down there. We're nearly out of this track and we've just run into these poor buggers. They got stuck in that very first hole that we were unsure about and we ended up backing up and going around. They're proper stuck too and his, um, his winch isn't working. Must be a solenoid or a power issue, just got nothing. So I'm just unhooking the van. I'm gonna turn around and just give him a snatch out. Hopefully that's all he needs. We're trying to pull him out just using his winch rope. Was not happening. So now we've just got the snatchy out. I can't believe how stuck he is. I thought it'd be nothing.
Oh, so close. It's moving at least. which is, he was a lot more stuck than any of us realized, I think. <laughs> it's pretty crazy actually, but my God, I got absolutely peppered out there by mosquitoes or midges or something in my eyebrows, like all over my back, all over my legs. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, nice bloke. Unfortunate though, that's that bog hole that we knew was bad. Thankfully didn't go through. It's the one Alex nearly lost his stick in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he gave me a couple of bush chooks for, for doing it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I haven't had a bush chook since WA, so that's awesome. <laughs> well, we made it to your poon, guys. Took us... 10 that's, hours. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> exaggerating, but literally six. For uh, what, what Matt Should've said been... was a three hour drive. Yeah. Uh, that's how we travel, hey. <laughs> I don't we know, I don't know what we do. We must faff around like <laughs> something shocking, I think. We stop, like each person in the car has a designated stop. So we pull over for food or a wee or something. Mm. Anyway, I'm totally having... worth the wait, this place. It is, I'm having this bush chook before I turn yours around. Um, so here in Yapoon, we are at a place called Yapoon Farmstay. It's a mm -hmm. brand new joint. Yes. Um, Adam and Faith started this not long ago. It's only been open for a couple of months and they're still working on it. But my God, I'm gonna call it, this is the best view from a campsite we've ever had. Oh, I reckon it's right Hands up there. Hands down, eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You ready for this? And turn around. Look at that. Oh my God. It's just next level. It's just the perfect place. I could just live here. Mm. And it doesn't cost you much. Got to be, uh, well, they got water, but you got to be power sufficient, which most people are these days. Mm. But it's amazing. Um, there's hardly anyone here because it is hot. Uh, obviously on top of the hill, you do have wind, but that's, but that's welcoming nice. right now. Yeah, that's nice in this heat. Yeah, but this is insane. We've amazing. never been to Yapoon before. This is our first time. Yeah, we have. We still haven't actually been to Yapoon. No. <laughs> We've just come to this place, but mm. yeah, love it. This I is, love it. This is our base for the next couple of days mm. to um, explore this joint. Guys, we have dead set one of the most incredible talents I've ever seen of anyone. <laughs> you remember what it looked like Curse. when we pulled up here yesterday? Yeah, Curse, you could say that. You remember what it looked like? Looking out from the front of the van. I'm oh, tripping over dogs. Beautiful. Have a look at it now. Dead set. Get the water off that lens. And we got such a reputation for it. Mm. Our mates here are like, you brought that with you. Because <laughs> yesterday they were saying it, it not rained here at all. Yeah, it had been beautiful, which is not what the weather app was saying and I thought we were rocking into this anyway, but geez, what are we doing? Why? Anyway, not much you can do about the weather. So, I'm gonna have our coffees and then maybe just jump in the car, go check out town anyway. It's meant to ease up a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Uh, on the topic of coffees, we finally found one that we both love, eh, Erin? Yeah. So, we struggle finding one that we both were right into. Uh, we had heaps of suggestions from you guys. We went through a lot of them and tried them all. Uh, and we ended up with this one here Reef Coffee. It's from Bundy. Uh, we got gifted a little bag of it when we were in Bundy last and hands down the best coffee that we've we've um both decided on in a long time so we got nothing to do with them we just ordered it online but just wanted to let you know that's the coffee we go with now all right our first stop in Yapoon. what an exciting one got to do some washing because it's been raining forever um and we've obviously not been on water so 
We've got a bucket load of washing to do. So I guess let's get into it. All right, we just had a good feed at uh, the spinning car. Pretty nice joint in town. Oh, Got... I'm so full. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually <laughs> held back this time. We're still so full. Mm. Um, we're just going to head over the road now because the lagoon's there and we're having a good run of actually getting lagoons that are full of water. So. Yes, it's a nice change. <laughs> so we'll go cool off in there now, I reckon.